And with no wee weep in sight for this heat wave, it certainly doesn't feel like Christmas. A year ago today, this was Main Street. And this is how it works now. I thought selling Christmas trees would be the perfect job. You make your money and you only gotta work a couple of weeks a year. But it's so darn hot, no one's buying them. And now they're all dried up. Ah! Fire! Fire! Ah! Looks like this Christmas is gonna be anything but merry. Hey, look, it's your buddy. In a related story, eccentric billionaire Foghorn Weghorn held a press conference today and made a stunning announcement. I've been, I say I've been hearing a lot of whining about how it's too hot to celebrate Christmas this year. But I'm here to announce that I'm gonna do something. I say I'm gonna do something about it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the fan plan. What is that? It's a giant fan, boy. And I'm gonna set it up at the North Pole and blow some of that cold air down here. If I were you, I'd get your sweaters out of the cedar closet. Cause I'm predicting, I say I'm predicting a white Christmas. That is one crazy rooster. I'm surprised you didn't get roped into going with him. Oh, I'm going. Well, I'm off to the North Pole. Should I bring a jacket? Nah, it's a thousand degrees outside. Bugs, your girlfriend fainted. We're almost over the North Pole! <laughs> it's time to jump! What? We can't land a big old plane like this on that ice. Are you out of your mind? Whoa! I say, there goes the fan. Come on, boy. Ah! 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 I say, ah! <gasps> we're there. I say, we're there. We're at the North Pole. Woohoo! We made it. Woohoo! I always knew we'd make it. Except for that one time I lay down in the snow to die. But all the rest of the time I knew we'd make it. Well, not that one time when I tried to kill you so that I could climb inside your carcass for warmth. But then realized how hard it would be to clean out your carcass. So instead, I just lay down for a second time in the snow to die. But every other time, I always knew we would make it. Woo yeah! Woo! Yeah! Woo! 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 That ought to do it. But even the best laid plans of ducks and roosters often go awry. Hmm. I say, hmm. What? Well, are we gonna plug it in? Plug it in? We have to plug it in? We're in the middle of nowhere! You didn't think about this before we left? Why do I keep getting involved with you? It's that limo. I keep getting tricked by that limo. WWSD. WWSD. What are you muttering? WWSD. What would Santa do? It's something I ask myself when I need guidance. <gasps> That's it! What? We'll plug it in. I say we'll plug it in in Santa's workshop. It's got to be around here somewhere. So you want us to just wander around the North Pole, hoping to bump into Santa Claus? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> we have to take cover, boy! I think I see it! Santa's workshop! No! You got hypothermia! You're hallucinating! I say you're hallucinating! I'm coming, Santa! Looking for some place to plug that in? Santa? You look cold. Why don't you take a seat by the fire? You're so snuggly, Santa.
So you're saying you installed a giant fan at the North Pole and that any minute it's gonna start blowing in winter weather? I'm not the kind of rooster to say I told you so, but I told you so. <laughs> How did you do it? We had a little help. You probably know him as Father Christmas, St. Nick, the captain. But I call him Santa Claus, and I've got him on tape. Santa? <laughs> You're so snuggly, Santa. I sat on the lap of a polar bear. I told you you was hallucinating. But I guess I didn't plug the fan in either. I'll make the next one battery-operated. Next one? <laughs>